While this garden was created in honor of President Carter's birthday, today it is rightly presented to both President and Mrs. Carter. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Jesus walks. When Jesus walks. Mr. President, many people, some here today, have been blessed to work with you over the last 32 years at the Carter Center. And those of us here now pledge to continue to do our very best to help you wage peace, fight disease, and build hope around the world in the future. He's a good father good grandfather, good great-grandfather, and I'm proud of him. I'm proud that he stands for human rights and peace all over the world. I'm proud of the work of the Carter Center, which has developed to become one of the most admired and respected institutions, not only nationally, but internationally. What's going to be next? Well, one thing I know, it'll be something, because Jimmy Carter's miserable if he's not doing something. <laughs> Happy birthday, Jimmy. <laughs> I've had a lot of good things in my life, but the best times have been the last 32 years here in this beautiful place on earth that has set, uh, I'd say, moral and ethical standards that exemplify what a superpower like America ought to be. I don't think we betrayed that ambition one day since I've been here, and maybe all of us together can continue to work to make this country itself reach for greatness. And I hope the Carter Center can continue, as it has in the past, to set a pattern of life that would be an inspiration to everyone who knows what we do here. So. From the bottom of my heart, uh, thank you for this great ceremony and look forward to working with you in the days to come. And uh, with a heart full of, of, uh, of gratitude and, and uh, if you'll excuse the expression, love.